Like national policy has been to encourage young farmers in particular to invest heavily, borrow heavily and and develop these very, very big, very intensive farming methods and, and farms. Yeah. And it's very hard to turn around to those people now who have young families in many cases who are supporting parents and say, lads, this, you know, we're on the wrong train here. We've got to get off it. Yeah, I think it's a huge failure of policymakers. And I actually think it's a huge failure of the farming representatives who have pushed for this without looking at the bigger picture and without actually considering or communicating the repercussions. You know, they knew this was going to happen with the nitrates derogation 10 years ago. I've spoken to so many people about it and everybody has that I've spoken to has said the writing has been on the wall. If that wasn't communicated to farmers well enough, then there's a lot of people to blame for that here. But but it's still not being communicated uh, even. Like we, we, we had it in studio the other night. They're still talking about dragging over the commissioner from Europe, uh, yeah. you know, to, to, to the European commissioner and kind of somehow talking him into letting us, you know, and, hold on to this derogation. You know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm moving away from recommendations of the Assembly and what the Assembly have said here. But I've been in a lot of different rooms now since taking on this role. And it's very interesting to hear what happens in conversations behind closed doors and what happens in conversations that are on radio and on television. And with that, I do not think that there are I do not think that all of the representatives are being genuine um, in what they say and, and in what they say publicly. Um, but but I do think. That I'm sorry, are you have... saying, just to be clear, you're saying that privately they're acknowledging that the jig is up in terms of, for, for instance, the nitrates derogation? Uh, listen, it'll depend on who you're speaking to in this regard. But in conversations that I've been hearing, you know, this is well known. I'm new to this, but this apparently has been well known from the beginning and that now the conversations are definitely moving towards an emphasis on nature services, those ecosystem services, water purification, etc. We've seen that now in the cap reform that's come in in January, even though it's very much diluted to what Europe wanted as to what is happening in Ireland. But there is a great change in it. We see the new acre scheme. You know, we have great examples like the Burren Project and the Bride Project that can be upscaled. You know, we see really good work that's happening in farmers peer-to-peer learning with discussion groups and we need to be supporting elements like that. And um, I think there's great examples of work that are going on. And I think the recommendations made by assembly members, who many of them were from farming communities and we had farmers within that our citizens' assembly as well. But they've made great suggestions in what can be done now on a national scale and uh, to support farmers in this but I do think the conversation needs to move forward now because we've got to a point where we can no longer maximize the outputs we have to optimize outputs within environmental boundaries and I think industry has a huge role to play in this the agri-food industry need to be part of the conversation and how we can restore and conserve biodiversity that's also a recommendation made by the assembly members and um, but this is where we need to be now in our conversations. And I think it's time to be a bit more genuine and realistic about it. You know, if we're con- going to continuously produce really good, high quality food, we need to be authentic and proud of where it is actually coming from. And it needs to be from good soil with good water. Farmers need the good water as much as everybody else wants it. So this is where we have to come together as a, as a collective, as, as a cohesive group looking after the land of Ireland. And that's what the Assembly have tried to do.